There's so much hate. <sighs> Being abused can hate. Because, you know, Asian families are really strict on school, and if you get in trouble in school, you get home, you get, you know, a good old spanking, you know? And what a good old spanking would turn out to be, like, extension cord whips. What's your earliest memory of getting hit? First grade. Um, I got in a fight with one of my classmates, and my parents had to come down and take me out of school. He takes me home. Just, you know, go inside the house. So It's okay. Just, just wait for him, you know, to get whatever he can get to hit you with. Mm -hmm. You can't do nothing. You don't have to hurt too much, but I, I can't lay still anymore. I start to get up. I start to run. They'll come after me. My goal in life is to grow up right, go to college. Duke's case is a prime example of how the juvenile justice system has shifted away from its original intent of keeping kids out of the adult prison. At age 16, Duke was involved in an incident where a gun was fired from a car that he was driving. No one was injured, and although he had no prior arrest, Duck was found guilty of first-degree attempted murder and is currently serving 35 years to life in state prison. He will not be eligible for parole until the year 2031. This is happening. Right when I heard I got 35 years to life, I felt like I was the smallest person in this world. And I was just floating away, I guess. I came in like around one in the morning. It was pitch black. And you hear everybody screaming and rattling the cages. You know, it's, it's pretty chaotic. I'm standing there with my sheet and my blanket in my arms, and I'm just being told to wait. You're stripped down, basically, to your bare skin. I mean, yeah. You, it's hard at first to get naked in front of grown men, you know, to be searched, you know. But it's all part of the process. It's a lonely environment. Lived in a six-man cell. Sometimes it gets overcrowded, becomes a 13 men in a six-man cell. It's loud every night. No windows, all you see is dim lights every day. You know, you get an hour of sunlight on Sundays. You don't have your pride anymore, you know? You, I'm not really duck anymore. On the day of the crime, Duck was driving with two friends who were known gang members. They ran into two boys from another gang whom they had previously had words with at school. So we decided to pull up and just, you know, have a big throwdown. You know, fist fight it out. But you know, when it happened, we pulled in, we pulled forward. Next thing you knew, four or five shots were fired. Everything then just, it happened so fast. It was like a blur, you know? I couldn't see them coming. I couldn't see myself going. All I saw was just, all I heard was just fires being shot and my ears were ringing, you know? Where were the shots coming from? from my car. I think I do deserve, you know, due time. Not, not for what I was convicted of, but yeah, maybe for being a screw up. Although no one was injured. So even though your father beat you from time to time, you still love him? That's a harsh question, huh? I mean, he's your dad, you know? He's your flesh and blood. You know, I mean, yeah, I hate him at the time, you know? That's a question I can't answer. I don't know how. We, you know, grow up in totally different society and culture. Yeah. yeah. And he was born here. And he grew up like exactly American. You know, 100% American. There's a gap between parents and kids. 
And we always go by tradition, our custom, the way we've been raised. So probably it's not suits for him, you know, in, in this society. Because of that, we, we believe it create our family problem you know, at that, that time. Did you beat him, Mr. Talk? Yes, I did, and, you know, when I was a kid sometime, you know, yeah. But, you know, uh, you know, but he loved, he loved his son very much. Yeah. He liked, you know, uh, And you see, um, in our culture, father and son, now, like back in the old time, we don't have much opportunity to talk to each other. Did your father beat you, Mr. Ta, to discipline you? Were you arrested at one time? Yes, I was, because I, uh, I hit him that, that night. After getting suspended from school one day when he was 14, Duck's father took a gun to his head and threatened to kill him. Beaten so severely, Duck called 911 for help. He was temporarily taken away from his family, and his father was sent to jail. He beat me that day, so they took me into custody. They took me to a mining police station. They took my pictures, and then the parent was there. You know, I didn't know that she was an Asian gang detective at the time. She, she brought Doc 